exercise 13.2 question numbers 5 to 8 question number 5 the question is this a vessel is in the form of an inverted cone like this of height 8 cm and radius 5 cm which is open and it is filled with the water up to the drain it is filled with water up to the drain when lead shots each of which is a sphere of radius 0.5 cm are dropped into the vessel one fourth of the water flows out find the number of lead shots dropped in the vessel the question is a vessel is in the shape of a cone and water up to the brim so we can find the amount of water in that vessel which is equal to the volume of the cone which we can write as 1 by 3 pi r square ish 1 by 3 into 22 by 7 into 5 into 5 into 8 that is the volume and what is given lead shots dropped into this and what is happening water flows out and what is given is the amount of water flows out is one fourth the volume of the uh, cone that means amount of water flows out is equal to one fourth of the volume means 1 by 4 into 1 by 3 into 22 by 7 into 5 into 5 into 8 and what do you have to find we have to find the number of lead shots so actually the amount of water dropped out is equal to what the volume of the object immersed in the water using Archimedes principle isn't it so the amount of water dropped out is equal to the volume of the volume of the object immersed in the water here what is immersed in the water lead shots we don't know how many lead shots are there so we are taking let n be the number of lead shots So, the volume of this lead shots is equal to the amount of water dropped out which is equal to 1 by 4 into 1 by 3 into 22 by 7 into 5 into 5 into 8 which you can write as N into volume of lead shots means the sphere. So, volume of the sphere is equal to 1 by 4 into 1 by 3 into 22 by 7 into 5 into 5 into 8. So, what is the volume of the sphere? 4 by 3 pi r cube. So, what is the radius of this lead shots? It is 5 centimeter. Radius of the lead shots is equal to 0 0.5. So, we can write as n into 4 by 3 pi r cube is equal to 1 by 4 into 1 by 3 into 22 by 7 into 5 into 5 into 8. I am keeping the equation like this because it is easy to cancel because pi and 22 by 7 you can cancel and denominator 3 and 3 you can cancel. So, this is equal to n into what is arc r 0 0.5. 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 is equal to 1 by 4 into 5 into 5 into 8. Then what we can do is we can cancel 4 and 8. 4 1s are 4, 4 2s are 8. Then 0 0.5, how can it cancel that? I will write 0 0.5 in terms of 5. That means n into 5 by 10 into 5 by 10 into 5 by 10 is equal to 1 by 4 into 5 into 5. So, cancel any 2 from this. So, what is remaining? We can write n as.
n is equal to what do you have to do you have to take 10 into 10 into 10 divided by 5 into 4 so you can cancel this 2 5 then 2 5 then 5 twos. so anything else missed I think something missed oh, 1 2 is there 1 2 I didn't write into 2 into 2 so you are getting it as 100 100 balls so next question question number 6 which you have to do as a homework but I will explain a solid ion pole consists of a cylinder of height 220 centimeter. A cylinder of height 220 centimeter and base diameter 24 and which is surmounted by another cylinder of height 60 centimeter and radius 8 centimeter. Find the mass of the pole given that 1 centimeter cube of ion has approximately 8 gram mass see you know how to find mass in physics you have learned I think mass is equal to volume into density so it is given that 1 centimeter cube of ion has approximately 8 grams so first what you have to find is volume of this object that means volume of the bigger cylinder plus volume of the smaller cylinder after finding that what you have to do is Mass is equal to volume into this 8 grams, volume into 8 grams. So, you, either you can write in terms of gram or you can write in terms of kilogram, which you have to do as homework. Then question number 7, a solid consisting of a right circular cone, A solid consisting of a right circular cone of height 120 centimeter and radius 60 centimeter standing on a hemisphere of radius 60 centimeter placed upright in a right circular cylinder full of water such that it touches the bottom find the volume of water left in the cylinder if the radius of the cylinder is 60 centimeter and height is 180 centimeter. So, what you have to find is, actually what is given is a cylinder full of water and what is happening? This object, object is like this, is immersed in this and water dropped out. What you have to find is, what you have to find? The volume of the water left in this. So, volume of the water dropped out is equal to volume of this object. So, what you have to do? Finally, what you have to do is you have to eliminate the volume of this object from the volume of the cylinder. So what you have to find is volume of the cylinder minus volume of the solid which is equal to volume of the cylinder minus volume of the cone plus volume of the hemisphere. That also you can do as homework everything is given. Next is question number 8. A spherical glass vessel has a cylindrical neck 8 cm. This is a spherical glass, a cylindrical neck of 8 cm long, 2 cm in diameter. The diameter of the spherical part is 8.5 cm. By measuring the amount of water it holds, the child finds the volume to be 345 cm cube. Check whether she is correct, taking the above as the inside measurements and you have to use pi as 3.14. If they are giving the value as 3.14, you should go for that itself. So, what we need is, child finds the volume as 345 centimeter cube. We have to check whether it is correct or not. For that, what you have to find? Volume of the sphere plus volume of the cylinder. All the measurements are given. And our radius of the sphere is 8.5 by 2 and height of the cylinder is 8 centimeter and radius is 1 centimeter. So, 
what you have to do is just add both the volumes and check whether it is three, 345 centimeter cube or not.